This is Kevin Pitnero from Analog and the Digital World Records. Today I'll be showing you the benefits of cleaning your records, and in particular, demonstrate the effectiveness of the Spin Clean record washing system. This is the same system we use to professionally clean every record we sell. By the end of this demonstration, you'll see why we insist on taking the time to properly clean all of our records. For our demonstration today, we have the standard treasury of the world's great music album, featuring Tchaikovsky's Concerto No. 1 in B-flat minor. As you can see, this record is very dirty and has likely been sitting, collecting dust and dirt for many years now. It is particularly dirty up in this corner here, where part of the record was exposed outside of the sleeve. I mean, just look at all of the dust, dirt, and scratches all over this record. So, what I'm going to do now, even though I would normally never play a record on my turntable that is this dirty, is play this record for you so you can hear the difference between how a dirty record sounds and how a clean record sounds. Then I will clean this record using the Spin Clean Record Washing System, which is the same system Analog in a Digital World Records uses to thoroughly and professionally clean every record we sell. Now, against my better judgment, I'm going to play this dirty record on my turntable to demonstrate to you the impact that dust and dirt can have in the audio quality and fidelity of a vinyl record. Alright, that should be good enough to give you an idea. This is actually a good album for this demonstration, because a lot of the music is quiet, 
so you can really hear all of the background noise and static that this record is producing. More so than, say, a rock and roll album, where the music is louder and would overpower the background noise. So you can really hear and get a sense of how much the dirtiness of this record is affecting the sound quality. Now this is the spin clean record washing system that we are going to demonstrate how to use today. The first thing we need to do is take the cover off. As you can see, the brushes are already installed, so the next step is to fill it with water. I'm going to fill the spin clean record washer with lukewarm water up to the fill line here. If you can see it in here, there's a fill line on the inside of the record washing tub. We want to make sure we fill it up on both sides of the brushes evenly. I'll even get some on the brushes here as well. And that should do it then. It's filled with water. Now you may be wondering, what makes the spin clean system different from just washing your record in water? Well, the secret is the specially formulated spin clean record washing fluid that we're going to add. Now all it takes is a little cap full here. And we're going to pour this cap full of cleaning solution directly over the brushes. This cleaning fluid is specially formulated to deep clean your records and flush all the dirt and dust out of the grooves. One little cap full of this solution can clean upwards of 50 records at a time. Now the last thing we need to do before we clean our records is to install these rollers into the unit. Now we are cleaning a 12 inch LP album, so we will put the rollers in the farthest slots here. There are also slots for cleaning 10 inch 78 RPM records as well as slots for 7 inch 45 RPM records so you can clean any type of record with the spin clean system. Now we will insert the record to be cleaned between the brushes and gently push it down until it contacts the two rollers. Then we just carefully and slowly rotate the record around on the rollers all the way around several times. You also want to spin it in both directions to ensure that it is thoroughly cleaned. And that's really all there is to it. The spin clean system also comes with a microfiber cloth to dry your record off after it has been washed. So we'll just take it out of the tub here and dry it off. And now your record is thoroughly and professionally cleaned. If you'll notice as well, the record looks a lot brighter and now has a really nice brilliant shine to it. That's because we flushed out all the dirt from every crevice and groove in this record to thoroughly clean it to optimize your audio listening experience. And finally, here is the clean record, which should sound as good as it did when it was first played when it was brand new. For Analog in a Digital World Records, this is Kevin Pitnero, and thanks for watching. <laughs>